Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Covert Ops. So we have jump systems. Let's have a look at the, the uh, star map here really quick. You can see where we are. We moved over to the Half Skull Planet just over here. Uh, we were at, uh, was it Tathis we were at? No, we were at Marshall, I believe. And we just jumped over here. Um, it was a 22 day, 19 day jump, something like that. I can't remember what it was. We just jumped over there uh, just because it's a Half Skull Planet. There's a lot more missions we can take on this planet now. Um, so let's have a look at a couple things here before we start. Let's have a look at the Mech Warriors real quick. Uh, so I was able to raise a few skills up. Uh, Iria Maki here with uh, almost fours across the board. And uh, Buckshot was able to get um, the Ace Pilot skill. And Dragon has got fours across the board now. And um, um, let's see here. We've got, uh, I believe it was Fist of Dorn that mentioned I should probably pick up a couple of extra pilots earlier on to get them some free experience which I think is a great idea let's just go to uh, where are we going here no not store ah, hiring hall thank you oh there's some good stuff in the store too I'll show you that in a second so uh, sandstorm uh, no shortstop sorry uh, out of all the pilots here shortstop I think was the best it's got Comstar uh, he's got Comstar Acolyte uh, but um, he's dependable um, decreased, ch decreased chance of ejecting due to panic. He's got plus one mech tech skill, which is great, and decreased cost for Argo upgrades, and plus one mech tech skill. So that's really going to help out. For the cost, um, uh, 30800 it's a li little much, but I think he's providing a ton of stuff for that price. Uh, we're already at 600000 a month, so we're just going to hire him. We're only going to do one. New mech warriors available. So we're gonna have to be careful. We got two months of uh, expenses left, and I, I th you know, we're gonna sell some junky mech parts and stuff too as we go along, because it's gonna start costing us money here. So if we go to uh, finances here, um, so yeah, operating costs a fair bit. Uh, where is it here? Yeah, mech parts. It doesn't cost us all that much, but it's gonna start adding up over time. Um, so we have to be be wary of that. Um, yeah, like the uh, mechs upkeep are is fairly high, but I mean we can drop the stinger out if we had to, which will save us a little bit of coin, uh, not much, but a little bit. Um, our current pilots are expensive already as it is, so um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean they are assets; they're not liabilities, right? They're assets, so you know you got to pay that out. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the contracts real quick. Oh yeah, sorry, let's go look at the store really quick. So there's a couple things in here that I'd like to have a look at. Um, the ATM-9, um, possibility to pick that up, but there's no ammo here for it, unfortunately. So not really sure, sure about that. Tactics support, uh, which isn't bad either. Plus one of tactics uh, can go in a life support um, section, just like we put the gunnery one in. So that's a possibility. Feral Amalar armor is a bit expensive, but it's here. Uh, so there's a bunch of stuff here that we could look at. Medium Pulse Laser Clan, which is another thing I'd like to pick up if I can. Um, LB2X, man, not a big deal. Um, Defiance Goss Rifles, yeah, we want the clan stuff. So, yeah, there's a few things here that would be nice. But um, now that we have seen that, let's go to our contracts. And we have another test drive here. Uh, test driving in Orion on a one skull mission against um, um, Clan Wolf, I think it is. Uh, is there, uh, yeah, Wolf Lance to try it out. So, I mean, we could take that one. That'll probably net us some, some good gear, but I'm going to avoid that right now because I want to make sure that we don't get too far uh, down in our reputation with uh, Clan Wolf. We want to stay liked or at least above that. So uh, we're going to take a, a Clan Wolf mission here first. And it's a one of war criminal here, assassinate mission in the Highlands. Um, one skull, so I think it should be okay. We've got a good sense of what our how our lance is running uh, by taking this one. And then there's a couple of, uh, like there's a one and a half skull we can go up to. And then a, a, uh, a couple of two skulls here if we're doing really well. So let's take this one first. And we're going to negotiate this. And I think we'll go, what's our drop cost here? Um, don't know yet. What's our drop cost? 66. So we're going to bring the Incubus in. And Dirt Nap is going to be in the main. i got to get my mechs sorted out here. 
And the Kiss, Kid Fox is the one with the Ultra 10, right? Right, so that's Buckshot. Area Mackie was in the Incubus for Close In. Uh, no, sorry. Dragon was in the Incubus for Close In, and Area Mackie was in the Mist Links. And the Mist Links got a little bit more range now. So, with the Pulse Lasers, a bit more accuracy. So these two will be working together. Kid Fox will be kind of back in between these guys, and the Adder will be working from long range. So let's deploy these guys. What are we looking at here? 84,000. So we'll make a little bit of coin out this if we don't take too much damage. Let's do this. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Well, this should be interesting. I have no idea what that is, but who cares? Looks like they got uh, two lances plus the main guy there. And looks like we've got... What do we got here? We got some wolf choppers. Beat the bushes and bring me the target's head. You got that, man. You got that right. Looks like we got some wolf vehicles here. Interesting. Okay. Fair enough. What's this guy here? Panther. 2C. Okay. Let's just move up. Uh, I'm feeling a little more confident with, with the uh, guys we have now. So we've got the extra large maps going on here too, which is awesome. Look at this thing. Lots of room to play around with here. Full We're going for a flanking maneuver. Alright, so uh, one thing I just want to say too, for some reason, I'm using GeForce Experience right now to record my videos, and I've been using it for quite a while. Never had a problem with not recording the mouse for some reason. But I've upgraded my drivers and everything, and upgraded GeForce Experience, and now for some reason it's not re showing my mouse at all. Now I can't find a setting for it anywhere. So I apologize if you're seeing the videos and if you don't, you can't see where my mouse is pointing. Going flat out. I mean, it's not really that important, but I mean, um, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. I am working on the situation, so if I, once I figure out what's going on with that, uh, I'll get it fixed. I'm interested to see how this, how well this AP Gauss rifle is going to do in uh, compared to the machine guns that we had. Yeah, the helicopters, these so nice. He's just going to sit there, I think. Now, it looks like we can take two lances on pretty much every mission, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I mean, it's going to add to our drop cost, so we don't really need to do it. But as climbers, I mean, we should be running with a star. I guess it should be running with five max all the time. I'm here. But no big deal. So far, I'm really loving the uh, new Rogue Tech experience. Oh yeah, uh, BattleTech 1.6 has dropped as well. Double time. Sorry, 1.7. So. I can't update Rogue Tech any farther than 3.3. Uh, I'm at 3.1 right now. Uh, I will be upgrading to 3.3 at some point, but um, we can't uh, do anything really until uh, they get a patch for 1.7. So I'm just going to leave this. I mean, I'll probably upgrade it at some point. Like I said, I've been really, really busy lately in real life, so um, it's been difficult to get things done. Hoping to have a bit of time this weekend, though. Hey. My youngest is in a uh, acting workshop with some directors right. this weekend, so I might have some time during the day to be able to do some stuff. Yeah, I like these lar the lar larger maps, but I can only imagine how painful this is going to be with assault mechs. Like, it'll just take forever for the assault mechs to move up. Especially if these guys aren't moving, you know what I mean? Standing by. I guess we could always send up a, uh, a scout mech to um, draw them out and maybe bring them into an ambush. Standing by. So 
standing by. Lots of good speed on this guy. Don't know if we need jump jets on this guy, but I'm hoping to get some use out of them. Ready for orders. Okay, I'm gonna move and brace, I think, this turn. Starting to get close. Don't quite have sensors on yet. Full sprint. Let's get up here. Full throttle. Want to at least kind of stay together until we get uh, what? No. contact with the enemy. If you say so. That way we can all stay under ECM for the longest possible time. Yes, Commander. Copy that. All right. Oh, he's finally decided to move up, has he? Oh man, we still got such a long way to go. Alright. Got eyes on now. Urban mech risk. Um, yeah, let's fire at them. Let's get this party started. Let's do this. Let's get up here and get some ECM. Get that large pulse laser up here too. As we go along, I have to be more aware of who I'm moving first. Don't know if we need the ECM on all of our guys, but definitely move the ECM unit first. Yeah, you guys just stay back there. Somebody's got a rack five. That's interesting. Receiving you. Ah, uh, we don't have enough for crap. Okay, well let's not get too far forward then. I was hoping to get in close and do a uh, um, vigilance so we can get in uh, get in on them a little faster next turn, but well, at least they're finally starting to move up. Okay, we got a vehicle back there. We got to get our Ultra 10 on this guy. What's this? King Scorpion, 35 tons. Okay. Standing by. All right, we got Dragon up here. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, getting dragging up here. Sorry, my wife just inter interrupted me for there for a second. Um, aye, aye. We had a bit of a uh, cat squabble last night. We have two cats, and um, both of them are rescues. One came from a uh, a house. The woman just had a just ridiculous number of cats, um, and this one was really sickly. wasn't expected to live, but. Uh, we took it in and she's doing fantastic. The second one was, um, we have a lady down the street who does, uh, has a catch and, re catch and release um, program. So what happens is the stray cats, she sets up a home from them. And when they come and they're in the little, in the little cat house, if they get pregnant and have babies, she coaxes them out and then, you know, gets them spayed and neutered and then gets them off to good homes. So we took one of those cats um, and, um, 
That cat's name is Toshi, and he spotted something outside last night. I have no idea what it was. Um, and just went nuts. I guess he couldn't get at it. So now he's got... Um, it's a symptom where... Um, hey. And I think it mostly happens to cats, where it's sort of a, a deflected aggression. Oh boy. So go. he's now aggressive to our other cat because of this incident, right? So now I, I gotta bring my uh, the one um, the the cat that's okay up in the attic and keep it in the attic overnight so that uh, um, they don't fight at at nighttime. Yeah, it's just a bizarre thing when that happens. And they're like the best of friends too. That's the worst part about it. But sometimes they can now like there's I've been from what I've been reading, it take up to a month before they can get back to being normal again, which is really, really awful. It's tough watching them just reject her completely and she's just sort of staring at them like, what the hell's the problem? <laughs> like, what did I do? You didn't do anything, cat. All right, what's going on? Oh, please tell me we didn't crash. All right, guys, I thought we'd crash there for a second, so I just went and stopped the recording, and just as soon as I stopped the recording, everything started again. So we're still good to go. <laughs> I have no idea what was think was taking so long. I guess someone was just trying to decide what they were going to do. Urban Mech has decided to move out and basically commit suicide. It would be nice if we can pick up that rack early on, though. I'd love to be able to... I mean, I would replace that Ultra 10 with that rack in a second. If it's a rack 2 and has range, for sure, man. So we're going to try and punch through the uh, Urban Max, r or sorry, left side. Oh, somebody was running their mass system a little too long, I think. So we've got a Locust, 25 ton fire truck, Kenru. Kenaru? Ken Kenadri Ken Kendiru. Whatever it is. Dead meat on wheels. Um Okay. Ah, I want to minimize my so that's not the water though. can't get to his flank really wow look at the chance to hit what the hell um What the hell? All right, well, we're going to just fire and maneuver then. Well, nine points. Oh, we got a head hit on him, though. Oh, I think we're in there. What is that? Okay, so that must be... There must be something okay. with that circle. Moving to position. Let's see if being outside that circle helps here. Not really? Locking in target. Never hit if we don't shoot, I guess. Bad luck. How's it going? Pretty good. I bet you got the best chance to hit. Alright, see what we can do. Ah, not bad. Unload everything on this guy. Um, let's crank it up a little bit. Here it comes. Okay, well. That's a back shot, eh? 
We'll take it. Definitely. Definitely. Not the best chances to hit, but we'll take it. Okay, not bad. A few good hits there. How are we doing here? Oh, legs pretty heavily damaged. The arm that we want is heavily damaged, though. Is that a helicopter? That was a helicopter. Yeah, I never really got a chance to read up on this stuff at lunchtime, so... Pegasus SRM. I wonder if this is this is our target or not. I don't think it is. Oh, a lot of misses. Good. Good, good, good. I think it helps that our ECM guys like up here. Okay, good. Keep moving in closer, please. Waiting for orders. Got it. It's gonna be easier to see, but he'll run a lot cooler in the water. Fifty percent chance to hit. Let's take it on the I side. Okay. Where we can get any cover, eh? Okay, well that's fine. On it. Gonna leave the one machine gun off, but we'll fire the rest. Confirmed. Lower leg destroyed. Okay. Scored a critical hit. Can we get in? We can. Hope for the best. Need the flamer off. Okay, there goes the leg. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Dropping a load in his pants. What are you doing? Just thinking about it here. Come on. Oh, I guess it was the uh, Reporting major armor loss. helicopter figuring out what he was doing. Looked like it was a mortar strike. Something, some kind of strike. That ferret's got to be the next to go. It's only five tons, but it looks uh, looks like it can be devastating. Sooner or later I'm gonna learn out which learn which things to take out first. So five ton ferrets, eh? Alright. Strangely enough, I wonder if uh they should allow having AMSs take on uh, helicopters. I guess not. I mean, it's mostly for f quick, faster traveling missiles, but you'd think uh, firing at a helicopter like that, something tiny, that's only five tons. Come on, figure out what you're doing. I think he's just trying to figure out where to move. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, well, we're all under heavy fire. Hey, finally showing up, eh? Oh, maybe not. Okay, Locust. Buckshot. Advancing, I guess. Okay, ECM protected. I should really check out what we lost here. Yeah, that's a big torso hit. Not so bad on the Incubus, though. Uh, let's just... 38. 
4.8. I think we try for a leg shot. Let's go with everything. Okay. We got something. Left arm. Critical hit, Commander. I assure you that <laughs> that scout vehicle is actually getting in close. Come on. This guy's missing his left side. Thanks for showing up. I think we just blew through his left side. I think we just do that. I'm going to turn the uh primary target damage commander. What? What the hell just happened? He lost both of his legs, I think. Commander. Well, the game is still a little buggy, but whatever you what can you do, right? Yeah, we have no jumping ability. We want to go for the helicopter. Where, where, where do we target down here? That's a pretty good chance to hit. Let's do it. I think we can get rid of this urban back this turn. Okay, targeting down here. Let's fire on him. See what we can do. There we go. See ya. Vehicle trash. Don't want him shooting again. What now? Well, AC's jammed, but let's get in anyway. Okay, let's go. There we go. Okay, That's one hit. Like a critical hit. Nicely done. I think that's the micro laser locust. I'm here. It's nice that they found uses for some of these mechs that like Position the confirmed. locust that just you never would have thought of, you know? Alright, we got some heat problems. Not so bad though in the water. We're gonna fire with these ones. I copy. Nice. Tango down. Looks like that ultra is intact. Okay, we get the fire truck. There's the locust in here somewhere. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Uh, let's get in the water. Just gonna walk it up to the water. We're gonna get a bit of cool off here so we can really face that locust. We'll drop some missiles on the fire truck because why not? Pretty big target, that thing. Yep, once they get this thing polished, man, it's going to be so good. I know they're still working on a lot of the bugs, but the game is definitely playable. I mean, that, that mech back there losing his legs or whatever the hell happened to him. I have no idea what the hell happened. Oh, that's, I forgot all about that tank. King Scorpion, right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, I want to get you in. That locust is over there. Uh, let's get up here. Something like this. And we'll try and get up on the hill here. So there's the locust. Oh, it's a Pegasus. What they had a locust here? Am I just blind? 35 tons. How much armor? 294, not one. Hmm. This guy's got a lot more armor, I think. That's firing the King Scorpion. Nice shooting. I'm here. We definitely need a hell of a lot more pulse lasers. Affirmative. Okay, is our ultra is not unjammed yet?
Alright, let's target this guy. Two hits, nice. Standing by. On my way. Stay in the water. Still dropping heat, which is nice. Uh, let's lower the rounds of machine guns here. Oh, nicely done. There's the locust. I knew there was a locust here somewhere. Thought I was going crazy there for a minute. All right, let's unload on this guy. Nice. Enemy unit destroyed. Yeah, I think if we can get some good sea bills off this planet, definitely want to get that medium pulse laser. Ow. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, that guy's got a lot of ATMs on him. Yeah, just, you guys just stay back there. Don't worry, I got this covered. They better not arrive to steal kills off me. <laughs> That'll just be upsetting. That was the wrong move. Oh well, we got good chances to hit, so let's take it. It's just the wrong move because we're in the middle of the open here now. These guys come around the corner. We're taking the full brunt. This is what? Kenadrew? Let's play aggressive. Full throttle. Let's play aggressive. Let's go after this guy. That thing, okay, that thing looks like a cross between a British cruiser tank and like, I was going to say a T-34 turret, but it's not a T-34 turret. It looks like a British cruiser tank from World War II. Nothing identifiable, but I mean, the, from the front, it kind of looks like a T-34 turret in a way, but eh, whatever. Who cares? Ready for orders. Who cares? Yeah, we're not getting anywhere to that, are we? Gotta find a way to cool this incubus off. Machine guns can stay off. Leave off this guy. Eh. Nice. Reporting. One less vehicle. I think I want to save the AP's last shot. So it's um Hey. Hey. So we have a good alpha strike. Damn. Ultra's still jammed. Is there any way we can speed that up? There. Okay. Yeah, I gotta read up on some of these. I think they've changed a lot of the rules here. Normally the um ah, I'm on fire. My heat sinks can't take much more. Yeah, no kidding. Normally, um it was always unjammed after one turn, but Good to go. Good to go. Shooting at the wrong side, but you are shooting at him nonetheless. Critical hit, Commander. Nicely done. Commander. Alright, let's get on this side of him. Engaging jump jets. Okay, we are hot. Leaving the ER mediums off, let's go with the AP Goss and the SRM-6. Can we get the machine guns in on this? 
We sure can. Nicely done. Move down. Is that it? That's it. Mission successful. Alright, contract payment increased by 25%, which is good because we're going to have some repairs after this. Now, I don't think we lost any components. I didn't see anything. Looks like we're pretty good here. Yeah, we just got some armor loss. And it looks like it's just armor, no internal structure, which is good. And what do we got here? So, what is the risk urban mech here? Rare product from the mysterious and severe of strategic combat built around the risk spec arc rack 2 fire support platform. As with all risk products, it must be used with care. I wonder if that's... So this is what the guy was piloting, the fireball. You can have up to 20 jump jets? Holy crap. Um, I wonder what happened with this guy. I have no idea what happened with him. Heavy MRM-10. So that's what that locust had. Three tons. Okay, that's ridiculous. Eight heat. for 80 damage at a max rating of 510. I mean, come on. Flat 10% jam chance. That's a bit uh that's a bit much. Okay. Here we go. Risk. Has a recoil of 1 per shot, flat 4% jam chance per shot, mitigated by gunnery. One to six shots, increased heat, recoil jam chance at higher rates. So, arrow four tag, what? That's what the helicopter had. Oh my god, there's so many good things here I want to take now. Uh, one ton? What? It's a single use, right? It says damage one. Deals area effect damage within 150 meters of impact. Additional area effect damage of 60 to primary and secondary targets. But damage one is what? This tag is haywire to a nearby Arrow 4 support carriers and calls in a precision strike. Oh, I see what it does. But do you have to have a Arrow equipped system on the battlefield for that to work? because they didn't really have one. Does that mean it... Battle Control System Artemis, nice. Wow, there's so many cool things I want to just take and try out. Grant's Breaching Sop, plus one Evasion Ignore. Two masks, yeah, see, I think what happened is the guy had his mask activated and it destroyed his legs. Radical Heat Sink Kit? Converts the mech to a double to use double heat sinks, activates when above 90% heat, deactivates when below 30% heat, minus 20 heat per turn when active, 5% failure chance on activation. Oh, so you don't want to stay overheated for very long. Sensor trackers, plus four ER accuracy, plus two LR accuracy. Accuracy extreme range, two accuracy at long range. Oh, that's an interesting way to do it. Minus one accuracy at short range, though. I 
I don't know what to take. Rack two. Oh, we, I'll draw a can of fives. Oh my god. I don't know, guys. I want to take the tracker, the sensors tracker, and um, the tag arrow to try them out. Because we already know what the rack two will do. But it's nine tons. I could replace the Ultra 10 with this. Oh. You know what? We're going to have a good chance to get other, like, more stuff like this. I'm going to take the stuff that I don't know yet. I'm going to take this tag arrow four to see what that does. And I think I'll take this because I want to put this on um, the adder. Well, let's see what else, see what else we get. Let's hopefully hope we get some good. I want to get the Ultra Five too, but let's see what we get. Okay, two machine guns, fireball part, heavy MRM ten, which is okay. One heat sink, engine core, twenty five ton engine core. Uh oh, we got the MRM ammo too, so we can run an MRM. How much ammo is this? Um. Ammo H M R M plus one evasion pips and plus one accuracy minus two heavy medium range missile damage increased crit chance 120 shots so that's actually not bad so that's one ton and this is how much three so for four tons we'd have 60 damage for eight heat that's not a bad. We may have to try that out too. All right, let's continue. Okay, let's have a look here. Twenty-seven thousand. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad. Made a few C bills in that, but not much. Um. So let's get our max back. That's uh, going to be three days, no matter what. All right, let's wait the three days. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. And I want to. Just adjust them slightly, I think. Get the stuff that we just got in there. So the adder takes one more day. Okay. Oh, yeah, the other thing, too, is on the way here... I should have mentioned this earlier. We picked up... Um, what do we do? Oh, yeah, the uh, ship's lounge, which gave us plus one more tech point and plus two more morale. Um... It was 225,000. I figure why not? I don't like having my morale too low. Uh, we'll slowly get that up, but we'll work on it as we go along here. So let's have a look at the mech base now. I want to get that arrow system in. And I wonder if we refit the stinger here. Maybe we should bring the stinger in and try five mechs once. Uh, incubus. So what do we want to do here? Miss Lynx. I think the larger medium pulse on the mislinks are working well. The incubus, I'm still, I don't know, I'm not really happy with this guy's loadout. I mean, heat issues are a big deal. Let's pull out machine guns and the AP Goss and the Serm 6 for now. And then let's go to... Um, question is, it considers this an SRM. What's the range? 510. Let's drop this guy in and let's drop in where is the ammo? MRM ammo. Okay. Um, warning what? Oh, Artemis ammo. Oh, that's why we can't use it. Okay. All right, well, that settles that. Not that we chose it, so it's a good thing we didn't choose them, I guess. It's probably a good thing. All right, um, we got three tons here. We don't have any armor. Um, 
What have we got equipment wise? We don't have Endo Steel. We do have this some jump jets we can drop on this guy. And I think what I want to do. How much do these put out heat wise? Ten. We got a royal heat sink kit, which is double heat sink. So we got plenty of heat sinking here. And can we max we can max the armor out, right? Yeah. Um, that gives us five jump jets. Small lasers a half a ton. Let's have a look here. Um, If we take out the jump jets on this guy, how, what's the speed of this guy anyway? How fast are we looking here? Pretty quick movement. 8.13, eh? Um, let's pull out the jump jets then. I got an idea here. Pull out the jump jets. Let's reposition some of these double heat sinks. Why are they in the arms? Not really sure. Now we've got support systems on this guy, so let's get the NARC launcher and the Arrow 4 tag on this guy. And then, um, where is the... I guess we don't need tag ammo? I'm guessing? There, I guess, it, oh wait, sorry, we need NARC ammo what we're looking for. Um, where's our NARC ammo? Oh, here it is. We're a little over. Um, pull out the small laser. Don't think we need the small. I don't want to pull any armor off this guy because he's got like no armor already. Let's go this route. Let's confirm this. We have an extra pilot now, so we might as well get this into, into battle. And then in the adder, we said we wanted to put in the uh, the, the sensor trackers, or tracker sensors. So let's go ahead and do that. So that'll help out. And yeah, I don't think we can, no, we can't apply anything else, can we? No. All right, no, fair enough. 60 new yen. I, why did I say new yen? <laughs> Sorry, Shadowrun. Uh, 60 C bills. Uh, which is nothing and I don't think we have anything else that can help at this point right yeah okay let's just do this On it. all right you know when that's done. I think that's gonna be interesting let's see how that works out and I am going to have to leave the episode here guys I'm sorry about this but I am really really tired but oh, what's this Light leaves SRM4 plus Holly. Seven, nah, I would not for 72,000, man. We're already going down here in, co in coins, so we better uh, be careful here. But we got a full month, pretty much. A full month to deal with stuff, so we should be able to do that. All right, so once again, I apologize. I'm, I am just exhausted today, so um, this might not be up the day after episode two. It might be the day after that because of it. I gotta take some time to edit it. Um, but yeah, um, so if you like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe or you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you all later.